My mom was cooking for us every meal. Like my parents truly supported us through the making of that movie. And um, she would, at 3 a.m., she'd hear us editing and she would be like, guys, are you going to go to bed? And we're like, no, we're with Father Ryan. And she's like, okay. Like she was so (laughs) happy, but she would, there was so much grace that came to our family through Father Ryan because we're listening to all his homilies over and over again. Mm. We're trying to find the pieces. Yeah, We're watching, you know, just people talk about him and just all the clips that we had of Father Ryan, his wisdom and his love is like just seeping in. And I, I explain it like, they always say you're the like your five best friends, like whoever you're hanging out with, that's, you know, it t- says a lot about, you know, what you are and how you see things. Uh-huh. So if I'm hanging out with Father Ryan all the time, every day, nights, and like, I mean, it took us a year to work on this. Father Ryan is just with me and his attitude and the way he sees things and his wisdom. And there will be moments where I was struggling with something and Father Ryan would say something and it was direct to my heart. Wow, in the videos, he'd say something. (laughs) And it was so cool. And we're constantly praying too, because we want to do a good job. And I remember one day, Garrett and I were working, Garrett would fly in from Pennsylvania and we were working on this scene. That's like one of the scenes that's the biggest scene in the movie that's really emotional Uh and it's a reenactment and we're working on it and we didn't have the right song for it we we couldn't find the right song and it was really important when you match up an emotional moment with the song yes and so my mom's going to mass and she's like i'm praying for you right now Uh and she said like she was praying during the consecration for us during that and as as soon as she comes back, we're like, we found the song. And when we dropped it in, it was like in the perfect, because you always have to like the move timing, the song. timing, yeah. <laughs> no, it was perfect. It was like God, the Holy Spirit and everything. And I really feel like that's one of my, everyone's favorite parts in the movie. And that's was, funny, yeah, because you, sometimes you're like, oh, we have to re-edit it to make it fit. Yes. The, the The crescendo and what have you. And so it just fit perfectly. It was all these little miracles. And I think my other favorite thing about this project is that it has so much of Father Ryan and and Father Richard and I were talking about that. There's all these, you know, movies about saints and like feature films and stuff like that or with Mm -hmm. actors. And it's like this one's so unique because we have so much video footage of Father Ryan. Because of COVID, we have his homilies recorded. Like that's so unique to have his wisdom, his Good Friday homily recorded and being able to use that. And it just so happened that they had recorded that that basketball game. Yes. And how like much energy and that win for the seminarians, <laughs> like that was a big thing. They had been they had been working so hard. The seminarians hadn't won in so many years. Like Father David Michael Moses yes. talks about how much they wanted to win. Yes. And then having the ordination of the Magnificent Seven, as Miss Stawway says, mm-hmm. Susan says, there's seven of them. That's kind of unique. Yeah, like sometimes was, there's yeah. three or four, but seven. And all of this stuff was just on hard drives. No one had ever seen it. It was just tucked away. Wow. And even when you think about it, if they would have launched that ordination, you know, maybe it wouldn't have had that big of an impact besides the seven, which is a beautiful. Yes. But to actually father f- follow Father Ryan's story and to follow him in this journey, and then he's ordained, like mm-hmm. it means so much more. And I think like that's what's so cool about this project is that it was God's timing and it was supposed to happen. It, and then you had was, all that that video footage from the parents too. Yes, yeah, Susan. How much, how much did you have to go through? Susan always says like her big dinosaur camera, because back then <laughs> it's not like you're just recording on your phone. Uh-huh. It's like you're it's like the big VHS camera. You yeah. Gotta, yeah, you got to like have all these little, she knew the technical things uh-huh. and knew how to do it. But yeah, like going through all of that and um, it how was- How much just, was it? Like how, uh, how many hours oh of man. footage? I feel like it was like maybe if you lined it all in a timeline, it was like maybe 70 plus hours, but you even have to organize it. Of course, yeah. And so like going through and some of it's not usable because it's like over time it gets bad. But there's some really beautiful moments and it really led us to know who the Stowe's family was. And so secretly I wanted to be their friends. I wanted to be their <laughs> friends because I spent so much time with them. Yeah. But that's what happens like with our documentaries. We get really close with the people we're, we're working with. But the thing is, they don't know me. They don't know my story. They don't yeah. watch me every day so when they wanted to link up with us and help us it was a dream come true because i was like they're my friends now (laughs) 